I go out there, I'm looking down the hall where my dad's holding onto the kitchen doorway like this, and a man is stabbing him with a knife all over. He's looking down at me to see if I'm breathing, to see if he has to stab me more times to kill me. It's just something that you never expect. You see it on the news for other people, and you feel bad for them, but you turn the channel and then you go to the next thing, you know? Because this happened in December 22nd, 1986. My dad was someone who, he was very um, adamant about no weapons and, and no violence. He goes, Suzanne, let me tell you one thing. If anyone were ever to murder or kill me, I would still not want the person to get the death penalty. But I had to start thinking to myself, now what the hell do I do? Now, who am I? I didn't even know who I was. Like, I felt so guilty about it and I had to start thinking about not just my dad, but I had to start thinking about the man who did it. The first five and a half years, I didn't forgive him. I got so bad that I wanted to hurt him myself. I didn't know how to tell anybody because I'm thinking, here I am, a preacher's kid. Like, I didn't forgive him yet. I mean, I'm saying the words coming from my mouth, but they're not coming from my heart. If I forgive him, does that mean I say it's okay for what he did? The forgiveness was not for him. The forgiveness was the present to myself. Because what I was doing is I was killing myself. I was aging myself. I was stressing myself out. I was making myself sick. The jurors come in. I point to James. I say, James, I forgive you whether you accept it or not. And it was the first moment that in those five and a half years that I, I felt that I could fly. And after that moment, I felt stronger. I fought harder to get him life, not death. I always say to people, why kill people who kill people to show Americans that killing people is wrong. These people in prison, men and women, have daughters, cousins, mothers, aunts, uncles, grandparents, that when they're, when they're executed, we bring hundreds more victims into our system. Why are you killing these people when they need the chance in prison to see or be able to reconciliate or become a better person? If we don't give them the chance, then how are they going to do it? I would go to the grocery store with this, and you should see the reactions that I get. Yeah. It's kind of like people are passing you, but they're kind of looking at the side, you know? And it's funny that here I just turned 60 years old a couple weeks ago, and here I am still crying at this age after this much time. But the good thing about it is that this is more of a cry of missing my father instead of being angry that he's gone. We, we can share with people how we went from here, anger, bitterness, to the place we're at right now is forgiving, loving, compassionate, and working for life. Mm -hmm.